Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So this is a collective reading from the 31st of May to the 6th of June 2021. It's a general reading so it may or may not resonate with all of you. So take what's yours and leave the rest but we're going to see the main energies for the week. So let's start with the energy oracle. So bottom of the deck, we've got walking away. This is what some people are either doing right now or thinking about doing. Moving forward on your spiritual journey as well. Um, so either you're just moving on in your life or you might be moving on from a relationship, a job to a blossoming future. Some of you are looking back, though, on the past. Your guidance is keep moving forward. Yeah, and that's really coming out here um, because we've got, just want to point these two out, first of all. The thinking man, caring connections. So some of you are really thinking about Either your present relationship, if you're in a relationship, or a connection that you just can't get off your mind. I feel some of you have started to feel this person's energy more recently. Um, so that could be why this is happening. And this is what you've been manifesting though. Some of you have always held this person close to your chest, within. Some of you have walked away. And then what happens in, in particular spiritual connections is as you do that, so let's put this image here, as you start to detach and walk away, your energy actually draws nearer to them and they start thinking about you and maybe even reaching out potentially to you. So that could be happening for some of you. Oops, got those the wrong way. <laughs> because we've also got a woman holding a coin. So I'm really seeing that a lot of people are really thinking heavily about someone this week. We are now in Mercury retrograde. So from the 29th of May to around, I believe, the 22nd of June. So this is a time where people do, they start reminiscing a lot about the past, returning to people from the past. Redoing, it's all about re, redoing, rethinking. Um, interesting here, the magician and the mirror. So this really resonates with what I was saying about manifestation. Some people are really going to be reflecting this week, I feel, first of all. On emotions that have come up recently that have maybe made you want to move on from your situation find the strength and empowerment to do that I'm also here though feeling um, with the magician sort of image a connection 
So what I was saying earlier about some of you have been manifesting this, visualising this person and I'm feeling that alignment is happening with some connections out there. So this is why you're feeling the person's energy more or you're just feeling good within yourself because some of you haven't met this person yet. Depends where you're at on your journey, I feel. But I'm just seeing a lot of empowerment this week. We're just moving on, making things happen in your life. And a lot of you have many different possibilities ahead because you've been manifesting this is usually what happens suddenly everything comes at once so it could be a job for some of you this could be a job offer or finances improving um, and as I said it could be meeting someone new Um, I feel some of you as well, you've got your heart set on this one door, this divine door, but you've got a few obstacles on the way that you need to navigate on your path. Um, it could be soulmates who come into your life to help you do this, to spiritually grow. This is often the case. Um, you know, soulmates teach us lessons, show us those parts of us that we want to leave behind. So again, that walking away could be that, just leaving behind that old you, like the ego death. I feel some of you have, um, yeah, more than one option in love because 24 breaks down to a 6 for harmony and love. Um, but you, I feel the person watching this, you know what you want. We've got a black cat here for luck. Luck is on your side. Definite changes happening in relationships. 14 breaking down to a 5. Okay, let's um, have a look further at the energy for the week. Wow, Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. New love on the way for some of you. Divine love. This is also speaking about self-love. So some of you are choosing yourself. It's really what I'm feeling here with that walking away. Choosing what makes you feel happy. Some of you have felt very burdened this is the energy we're getting here. Confusion, not really seeing the way forward. Um, some negativity, fears, things you're keeping to yourself. It's really interesting the way the cards came out because yeah, in the middle, we've got things that some of you want to share, you want to say. Um, some of you are worried about finances, I feel. This is weighing heavily on your mind. A lot of you want a new beginning. Um, again, with that walking away, that really links here with these cards. 
you just want a fresh start, ace of pentacles, new beginning, committing to yourself with the ace of cups as well and yeah, wow, nine of pentacles, single energy. So, so for some of you, this is what you're doing, I feel. Um, and also with the woman holding a coin, this really links um, with the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you do have finances on the way. Things will improve. Let's see what the obstacles may be. Because we had some obstacles come out um, in this card here, different possibilities. So what are the obstacles? Yeah, it makes sense in terms of what I was just saying. Um, so for some of you, it's communication, I, I feel, this week. Expressing yourself, things that are hidden, as I was saying before. Um, some of you really want to walk away from... People that don't serve you, because notice here it's a single energy, and here we've got two energies around you who don't have your best interests at heart. There's one person in particular who could be meddling in your affairs, and um, this may come to light with the moon. This could have happened around the lunar eclipse that we just had. So yeah, communication um, is the issue. Saying how you feel. I feel some people um, have this urge to say loads of things, to let it out let out those fears and secrets and walk away from people who they just don't click with anymore. That's what I'm, what I'm hearing here. But some people are in two minds about whether they can do this. You know, they don't want to rock the boat, is what I'm hearing here. Um, some of you, it's like your people pleasers. This is why you don't want to make this change. You don't want to hurt people. What about you, though? That's the question there you should be asking yourself. What makes you happy? Because that's coming out here. Working on yourself is an obstacle for some of you. Focusing just on you. Um, and you know so basically you're focusing too much on those around you how they feel, how it may affect them if you walk away if you move on but the spiritual journey is all about us isn't it um, what, yeah, what makes us tick essentially and um, again, finances are coming out here as an obstacle for some people. Now, this all comes from uh, the mind, the mindset. Just want to talk a little bit, little bit about um, the law of attraction. Sorry, I can't speak today. Um, this Mercury retrograde always does this to me. So if you're in the lack mentality um, in terms of finances, wondering where the next paycheck's going to come from, um, 
putting out there into the universe, you know, what you don't have, essentially, like, oh, I don't have this, I don't have enough, then what happens is the universe gives you that, gives you, like, not enough, if that makes sense. Um, because your vibration is low. Whereas if you raise your vibration to, I am abundant, I have enough, I am truly grateful for everything I have, then you'll notice abundance just comes flowing in, into your life. This is something I, I did um, years ago. I started doing this every day. And I eventually set up my own business and it started flourishing, you know. I just noticed suddenly all this abundance flowing in because my mindset was here. Positive. Okay? So it's all in the mind. Um, okay, I'm going to clarify it with my new um, Lenormand cards. These Under the Roses um, is the, the name of the deck. Now, Lenormand is new for me. Um, I'm more sort of, I realise with my gift, I think I learnt in my previous lives. <laughs> Um, with the tarot, um, so Lenormand is yeah is new to me. I realise that as I use them, but I use them more intuitively. Anyway, okay, so I may not look at all the traditional meanings. Let's have a look at um, the the obstacle here with these people around some of you. Let's try that again. Okay, we'll take those. Yeah, the grave here is showing endings are definitely on the horizon for some of you. Some of you know it's coming to an end, you know, your current situation. Um, and some of you, it has ended. Take what resonates there. Amazing that we got the moon again. So use your intuition in terms of what's hidden. Because with the moon, some things are hidden and some things come to light. I feel that some things came to light for some of you and this full moon caused a big change with the child, yeah, this is what a lot of you want, this new beginning, fresh energy, a lot of you just want to focus on your stability. Um, for some of you, you could have children, that could be what you need to communicate about um, before you can move on because <clears throat> we do have a page at the bottom of the deck here page of cups definitely communication because my voice just closed up there a lot of you need to communicate some people want to reach out to someone from their past when they walk away Okay, interesting. Wow. We've got lady twice. Um, so, yeah, there's someone there getting in the way. As I said, here, it's two energies. So, whether some of you found something out about your partner, 
being with someone else or you have someone on your mind doesn't matter if it's male or female by the way but with the mice this speaks about distress obstacles um, chaos again notice three energies this seems to be the theme of this reading for this week it seems um, obstacles realizing your worth moving on from this chaos these other energies Okay, interesting. Anything else we need to know for this week? make a decision this is on heavily on some people's minds it seems yeah some of you are focused on the past on what you lost so either someone walked away from you or you, some of you are thinking about someone from longer ago I feel this is coming up for you as you're walking away from your situation and again we've got an apology here on some people's minds wanting to reach out to that one so I feel that healing um, is going to happen this week finding balance this is positive with um, finances in particular, destiny on the way. So as I said, for some of you it is a contract on the way. With the two of cups as well, can indicate a business contract. I feel, yeah, I feel a lot of you will overcome obstacles Um, the healing, I feel, is in the heart chakra, in particular. Um, and emotion, you're yeah, just letting out emotions is really what's coming through here, um, is what's needed. Also, you know, again, we've got that caring connection coming out here so again this is what is heavily on people's minds someone who blocked you I'm now getting it wasn't very balanced in the past some of you were giving more than the other person but this could be um, a very beautiful connection because both of these cards are showing that the balance with the scales of justice that apology that someone wants to make this is destined have hope okay so it may not actually happen this week this is the energy I feel that these people, whoever they are, who are making these changes, are heavily thinking about this right now. This is because this is the energy. Um, we've kind of had all the signs really come out. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, Aquarius, Pisces, a lot. Let's get a few more Lenormand 
the these cards. Wow. <laughs> so again, look, we've got the lady on someone's mind. Doesn't matter if it's male or female, it's the energy. And here's the gentleman thinking about each other. So, yeah, thinking about the good times that you had. I feel that this is mirroring that's happening with that Two of Cups. But this energy who's come out, male or female, as I said, um, has some repressed emotions here, yes. This is what we were feeling before. They may be writing it down. They could be a writer or they're um, creative in some way. Maybe an artist. There's a lot of love there. It's quite a burden on this person, I feel. Um, they're really trusting their intuition, their faith. These two really go together. They're really trying to have faith right now. And this is beautiful. The stalk, they want a new beginning change can indicate pregnancy um, but you know new life really is what I'm feeling here this person is going to express themselves eventually so again this is the energy I don't think it's going to happen just yet but this is now on their mind they're thinking about how to tell you all of these secrets with that moon. Okay. Wow. Feels feels like quite a, a powerful week. Um, to be honest. Let's get a, a whispers of love about this connection. So, wow, express love through gifts. Yeah, so this person's thinking about it. Um, how to show how they feel. And it may be a gift that they, they bring to you. Have patience. Okay, this is the number of the star, number 17. So there's a lot of hope there. This is destined. You've both been through so much. So many obstacles. There may be a little bit more healing that's needed um, with the star actually as well. Emotions will come out, I feel. And this is beautiful. Spiritual connection. Yeah, which is what I was feeling um, from the beginning <laughs> of this reading. So it goes beyond lifetimes, this connection. Um, I feel that you're maybe having more memories at the moment coming to the surface. And this person is also, so you're, you're connected. Notice here, in the mind, you're connected. It's the meeting of minds when you're together. A lot of you are visualising now being again, you know, again with your love here. Yeah, having maybe, maybe some of you are having memories of past lives. 
with this person. Let's finish with a spirit animal oracle card then for the week. Any final message for the collective? So we've got watch and wait and with the seahorse, very loyal person um, on the way. So we got think on your feet, yes, because there's a lot of thinking happening. Um, we had that, didn't we, with the, the thinking man at the beginning thinking a lot about how they're going to move forward um, in their situation. Maybe needing to, to be a bit sly with the fox in terms of how they do it. Scarab beetle, magic works through you. Yeah, because this is a very magical connection, um, clearly, that's coming out here. Very spiritual, 52, breaking down to 7. There we go, time for beginner mind. This is what a lot of people are deciding to do, to break free, have that new beginning. A new beginning in these spiritual connections as well. Be at home. A few different messages. Um, for some of you, I feel the guidance is just rest, meditate, be, be comfortable with yourself. Keep doing that. That's helping. But with be at home, it's also the one that feels like home. This is what I'm feeling. A lot of people are being drawn back to that one. That makes them feel that way. I'm really feeling it here in the energy. And that's beautiful with the swan. Um, again, mates for life, very loyal, symbol of twin flames. So returning to that one in your heart, 60, bringing down to a six for love. Time for a deep dive, yeah. So there you go, that journal that came out. So express, expressing feelings. Um, maybe it's all been done through art, writing and now, for some, it's time to let those feelings out. For others, see, it depends where you are on your journey. <laughs> for others, it's the start of coming to terms with how you feel deep down. Where, which direction you want to go in. Where does your heart draw you back to, or just draw you to, for example. Uh, okay, I just noticed with numbers, quite interesting, 27, 27. So walking away, think on your feet, yeah. This is definitely around, as I said, yeah, thinking about how you're gonna move on in your situation. Use your mind wisely. Some of you may be seeing double numbers like this. 
as well as signs. Always look up the meanings online. They'll give you more information. Okay everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Please do comment if it resonates. Thank you for all your support, for your likes, comments, subscribes and donations. It really means a lot. And I'll see you soon. Yeah.